Hello everybody, welcome to this video lesson. I am Teacher Martinez and I have a friend, Dana. How are you, Dana? Good. Dana, what's your last name? Jackson. And where are you from? Mississippi. Mississippi, In okay. America. In America, okay. We have a, a, an America from Mississippi. And can you tell us about where is Mississippi? In the north or? It is in the south. In the south. By the beach. By the beach. Okay, our topic is greetings. We're going to talk about greetings. So, uh, what are some of the formal greetings that we can use? Formal greetings. The most popular formal greeting is hello. Mm -hmm. Hello. So, we can say hello, how are you? Yes. Right? But that is formal, that is for, you know, to sound polite, but what about if we are talking with our friends, how can we ask the same thing but in an informal way? Then you would just say hi. Hi. You can hi. also follow it with how are you doing. Hi, how are you doing? Okay. Oh, you can say what's up. Yes. Right? What's up. Yes. But it's not the app, right? No. The app is what's up? Mm -hmm. This ah. is what's up. Okay, let's see if you can know is the difference. Can you tell us about one and the other one to see if we can notice the pronunciation? The first one, the app. The app is what's up. What's up? What's up? The greeting is what's up. What's up? Okay, so what's up? That is like que lo que in Dominican Republic. Right now we are making this video in Dominican Republic, so, uh, hey, what's up? That's very informal, it means, hey, que lo que, right? Yes. Que lo que. Okay. So, but, uh, there is another one that is, uh, how's it going, mm -hmm. right? Yes. So, how's it going, what's up, uh, they are uh, informal. Yes. But, which one do you think is, I mean, more informal? What's up. What's up. You can also say what's happening. What's happening? And that's just as informal as what's up. Okay, so if somebody asks me what's happening, how can I answer that question? What's happening? Usually you would, um, whatever the situation is, mm -hmm. they're literally asking you what is happening. What's so happening? you can say, I'm going to the football game or I'm going to the restaurant. You just tell them what you're going to be doing. Okay, perfect. What about how's it going? How's it going? Usually it will just say, good, how are you? Okay, perfect. And if somebody asks, hey, what's up? Usually you actually respond by just saying what's up back to them. What's up? It's like that. Que lo que? Que lo que? Yeah. So how are you is for formal, right? Hello, how are you? Yes. Hola, como estas? You know, you know that in Spanish, right? Yes. How do you say, how are you in Spanish? Como estas? Como estas? For those people that are American, that are, are watching this video, you can learn here too. So, how are you? Mm -hmm. Como estas? Como estas? Okay, very good. And even more formal than how are you is how do you do? How do you do? And you usually answer that with very well, how do you do? How do you do? Okay, perfect. So, in the morning we say good morning, right? Good morning. Yes. But some people say morning, mm -hmm. right? Yes, it's less formal. Just say morning. Morning. Mm -hmm. So, in the United States, most of the people they say morning mm -hmm. instead of good morning. Yes. Okay, but what about in the afternoon? Can I say afternoon? You can. We don't usually... Um, refer to the afternoon at all by saying good afternoon or afternoon, but if we do, you can say it either way. Okay, but it's not common. Not very common. Not very common. What about uh, during the night? You have, you have two greetings. You say good evening mm -hmm. and you say good night. When yes. do you use good evening and good night? So if you're going to someone's house, mm -hmm. when you get there, you would say good evening. You can say good evening. How are you? And then when you're leaving, you'll say good night or have a good night. And then if you're at your own home and you go to bed, then you also say good night. Good night. Okay. So in Dominican Republic, we just say buenas noches. Yes. You know, right? Buenas noches. Mm -hmm. So you say buenas noches. Cuando te llega, te dice buenas noches. 
y cuando usted se va, when you left, you say bueno, buenas noches. But in the United States, good evening. So, uh, when do I start saying good evening? For example, after 6 p.m. or, I mean, good afternoon is from... Usually it's mm -hmm. when the sun goes down. So once it starts getting dark is when you'll start saying good evening. Good evening. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's talk about uh, another uh, question or phrase. For example, uh, what's up, nigga? <laughs> what do you think about that? What's up, nigga? I mean, that, that, that is offensive. Can I say that, that question, that phrase, or whatever? Can I say it? Or I'm going to be in trouble? So it depends on the color of your skin. So if I say it to you, mm -hmm. it's offensive. So I'm black. Yes. <laughs> but here in Dominican Republic, I am not considered black, you know. Um, yes, you're light. Yeah, I'm like, in my skin. But in the United States, I'm black. Yes. Oh my goodness. In I'm black. <laughs> I'm black. Oh my. Oh black. In America, if you have dark skin, you can say it. You can say it to dark skinned people or light skinned people. If you're light skinned because of history, it's offensive if you say it to anyone. So you don't use that phrase? No. No way. All your friends are white skin or you have both? Both. That's good. Yeah. So what is the state, I mean, or the place that you can hear this uh, question or, or, or phrase? I mean, for example, uh, in Mississippi, can you hear a lot of this uh, question? What's on the or? Yes. So it's probably found more in the South. In the South. Um, we have a high population of dark skinned people. In so. the South. Mm -hmm. When we are talking about the South, we are talking about Mississippi. Florida. Uh, Florida, Georgia, Georgia, Louisiana, Louisiana, and then Louisiana. Alabama. Oh, mm -hmm. right. Perfect. Okay, what about, there is another one, howdy. That's a greeting. Howdy. Yes. What about that? Can you tell me about that? This is a very country thing. So, um, in westerns, you'll see them use this. Anyone that owns a ranch has lots of horses. Um, it's primarily found in Texas. Texas. Okay. Howdy. Okay. Now I'm gonna ask you four questions, and you wanna give me an answer because I want to know, and for the people that are watching this video, they have to know how to respond, how to answer uh, this question. For example, the number one is, "How's it going?" Hey, how's it going? How do you answer that? Good. How are you? Good. How are you? Okay. Number two is, "What's up?" Hey, what's up? Mm -hmm. And number three is. How do you do? Good. How about you? I'm fine, thank you. <laughs> yeah. And the number four, how are you? Very well. And you? Very well. I'm good, you know. So guys, thank you for watching this video. Please share this video. And if you have a question, you can make a question below this video. Thank you so much and see you next time.